magnetic fields are amazing things. We can't see magnetism, but we can see how it works. We can see how it, it can hold on to things without having a material force that we can see. These are fun because you can throw them up and they can make a lot of noise. We also use magnetic fields in many purposes uh, on Earth. Of course, back before we had uh, GPSs, we used compasses for navigation, where the one, uh, one usually the red one, points to magnetic north, and the silver one points towards uh, magnetic south. Now, the Earth's dipole is a magnet, and magnetic north is close to true north, but it's not exactly at true north. It's a little bit east of north when we're here in the United States. But a magnetic field can be, we can use a compass like this to tell us the direction of a magnet that we have. So if I put a magnet in front of it like this, the north seeking pole of my compass is pointing toward that end of the magnet, so that is a north magnetic pole and the other one is south. So you see how it causes it to rotate as you turn the magnet. One of the special things about magnetic fields is they never begin or end. There's always a line of force that continues. The way we say that is there are no magnetic monopoles. So if I take this magnetic disk it has magnetic field lines, magnetic lines of force that point in on one side and point out on the other side. And if we continue those magnetic lines of force, we get what we call a dipole. So I can take a series of magnets like this and create a, a magnetic, stronger magnet just by adding them together. And I can then take my magnet, see the red points up, and now the silver points up. So the red points the direction of the magnetic field, and as I move the magnet, you see now the red is pointing straight up, and as I continue around, eventually the silver one points up. So I can use this compass as a way to trace out the directions of the lines of force from this magnetic field.